From towering thunderstorms to massive hurricanes, almost all weather on Earth happens in the troposphere, the first and most important part of our atmosphere because it's the one we live and breathe in. While meteorologists mostly care about this bottom portion of the atmosphere, there's more layers to explore. Let's hop in and explore the rest up there. Our first stop at roughly 30,000 feet above the ground is the tropopause, the dividing line between the troposphere and the layer above it, the stratosphere. You've likely been to this lower part of the stratosphere before as commercial airliners prefer flying here to avoid turbulence below in the chaotic troposphere. This stable second layer of the atmosphere is due to a flip in temperature trends, which we'll come back to in next week's Moment of Science. But for now, let's continue onwards. As we rise higher and higher, the air gets thinner and thinner. Thankfully, this trip is just a thought experiment as we'd likely be struggling to breathe now as 99% of Earth's air is in the lowest 19 miles of atmosphere. At roughly 31 miles above the surface, we made it to the starting point for the next layer, the mesosphere, home to the coldest temperatures in our atmosphere. But despite the cold, this is where most meteors burn up. In addition to shooting stars, there's a lot of weird phenomena that happen here, from the highest clouds on Earth to strange electrical discharges that happen above strong thunderstorms. Let's go even higher, taking a pit stop at the International Space Station, which orbits in the fourth atmosphere layer, the thermosphere. It can be quite colorful up here with the aurora occurring in this section, but at this point there aren't enough molecules to transfer heat or even sound. This is truly where outer space begins. Surprisingly, our atmosphere extends beyond this, the exosphere. There's no weather, no air, just some gas molecules scattered few and far in between in this fifth and final layer that gradually fades into deep space. In this real image of our layered atmosphere taken from the International Space Station, we would be here darkness of space, which gradually fades into the thermosphere, then the mesosphere in light blue, the stratosphere in pink, and finally highlighted in a vibrant orange, the troposphere, where our journey began. For this week's Moment of Science, I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon.